Hey yeah, folks, this is Shantron here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Draw Racks and Fight. This is for my Untouchable Challenge, so basically I cannot take damage, actual damage. Temporary hit points do not count, and I'm playing solo except for some cap buff stuff. The build I'm using, or a variant of it, is up on my channel, and I'll link it in the description. Good, let's just get started. I start off as usual, in this case uh, from stealth. I just need this guy to be out of the way. Click the healing potion to get dipped in poison and bless. Go into stealth fire. And then I shoot this guy on the first one. So critical hit would usually be a good thing, but in this case it actually costs me a surprise round. So that is horrible. That means I would probably have to use the bonus action to kill him if I had the surprise round, but that would trigger bloodlust. Uh, so this loses me one halo and one actual action. It's still okay. I'm gonna use the special arrow there in hopes of killing him with one shot. But unfortunately, DFC with a little bit of hit points left. Considering using the Halo Spore on him, but that's not good because I want to be using that on the War Drum here. Getting the extra action from Bloodlust. Let's War Drum first. It's resistant to necrotic damage, so the chance of actually killing it is very low. Get a little bit of damage on Draw Raxlin here. I would prefer to kill something and put some damage on Draw Raxlin each turn to, um, to get him as low as possible, but there are situations in which that's not really possible. My position here is uh, a little bad. I can't really avoid these throws that they do from down there, but my uh, armor class is high enough that it shouldn't matter too much. But I uh, make an oopsie. Because I uh, had planned on having the surprise round, I had planned on killing the guy here. And now instead of shooting me, he decides that uh, he can't get a good position to shoot me, so he dashes up to me and can shove me. This is, uh, I think this is the highest chance I have of failing this all the way through and would have been fucking horrible so <laughs> that was bad it's a, a little below 50 percent chance of him um, pushing me down there i think we also in the situation that since i didn't get the second halo i didn't have the um, uh, what's it called there i didn't have the drum kilt so we need to go down and do that again but that should not be too much of an issue i do need to use it on the drum here i am considering going on that one first. I do need to get the drum down. I could uh, switch these actions around. It doesn't matter too much. That could have given me a halo for last time, but I couldn't have used it for too much. I'm gonna shoot the brazier here instead of shooting straight at the guy, because that will also kill the, the ladder, which means the draw Raxlin will have to move further. And also he might try and avoid the fire. He uh, has a tendency to not want to go through that. So maybe he jumps and then he won't have the bonus action to push me or a repulsor or whatever it's called his his uh, knockback ability uh, i get up and i get as far as way as far away as possible after killing that guy there he dashes all the way around this is good for me really good for me the save there is awesome of course but it wouldn't have uh, mattered too much because i'm still at uh, i think full temporary hp at this point and i'll get a kill next turn of course this guy trying to cut me off it's a little annoying but it's also just a, a trigger for a bonus action, right? We start by dropping a healing potion and Halo of Sporzing it to get blessed back up. Partly in case uh, Dorakso just does manage to capture us at some point, we want the bless effect, but also just extra chance to hit, right? Difference between 90, 95 and 85 here. These two guys are a little far off. I should maybe put a little bit of damage into them, but I do have a really good shot on uh, Draraxlin here, and I might not later, so I take the shot there instead. And I should be able to kill one of them next turn. More throws. These are still fine. Even if he hits, it doesn't matter. I also do have shield as a reaction. The way it functions is that even if I've used my Halo of Spores, I will still have the shield option. I just won't have the Halo next turn. Then. I'm using one level of sorcerer here instead of the one level of warlock or other things I suggest just to have that uh, available. And it also gives me featherfall and stuff like that, so a few more options. Dropping this here, it's not on top of any of them, but the fire damage means that I can uh, kill that guy with a single shot because he was at 19 hit points before and that was a little steep getting with one hit. And now we should have two actions to deal with this guy. I would normally have put one arrow into him and then I would have the other one into draw action but i can't reach him in, uh, in this position so we just killed the last goblin there this also means we won't be able to trigger bloodlust anymore which is unfortunate but it's still gonna be okay he runs this way around instead of going up for some reason that surprised me a bit but it's fine ish for us just another bless potion 
And as you can see, we've been using the halo for different things, killing the war drum, dropping the braciers, and uh, and smashing potions. We haven't actually been using it to to kill any kill any goblins or deal any damage. Dashing here should get me far enough away that he can't reach me with a dash to uh, repulsor or shove or anything. And it also triggers lightning charges to give me a little better chance of hitting him now that he's not on low ground uh, compared to me anymore. The fact that he does not actually reach me here is quite great. I'm also certain that because I'm in the middle of this, what would have happened would just have been him shoving me back onto that one instead of shoving me down. So even that, but I can move away without him getting an attack opportunity is pretty powerful. I use the grease bottle here. I think that is a mistake. Uh, I put it down because I don't think I'm going to kill him this turn and I don't want him to be able to reach me. But I should have gone for the kill first and then done this afterwards. So that's a definite mistake. Only 90% chance of hitting instead of 95, still fine. And he's a lo low enough now that I don't need to dash away, which I had considered doing. I just went for the 90% chance to, to kill him there. And there we go. Throw Rax in that. Thank you for joining. If you have been, I've been Shantran, and you've most definitely been awesome. Don't forget to do the YouTube stuff, and bye-bye.